you think it's possible to add advanced functionality to your game without using any code? What I mean is, do you think there is a no-code system that is both very easy to use but also very powerful? Well, I think so, so let's find out. If you're new here, I am the creator of RPG Playground and that is the easiest tool to make your own role-playing games. You can compose your levels, add some characters in there, and then change the behaviors of those characters. And the cool thing is, you can just create your game while you play it. You don't need to download anything, just go to rpgplayground.com, register for free and start creating. Now RPG Playground was using screenplays, which are very easy to use, but they had their limitations. I wanted to make them more powerful, but the problem is, when I would do that, it would soon turn into a real programming language. And that was not really what I wanted to do, because that's not really beginner friendly. So I went on a quest to see if there is some tool out there that really provides both easy to use and the powerful. Now Scratch is easy to use, but in the end it's a tool to learn how to program, not really a tool to add functionality. Scripting with nodes and connectors is also very powerful, for example tools like Unity Engine's Blueprints or Game Builder Garage or Godot's Visual Scripting. But there are two things that I don't like about it. First of all, it's very mathematical at its core. And I want functionality to read more like a movie script. And secondly, did you ever see those advanced scripts? It's really crazy. It looks very much like spaghetti code. And I don't know about you, but I couldn't work with that. There were also some other solutions, but not really what I was looking for. I really wanted something very easy to use, but also very powerful. Something that comes close to really the functionality that you can program. So in the end, there was only one option left and that was to build it myself. Now, to be honest, I highly underestimated this work and it took me more than a year to complete it. But now that it's done, I'm really proud of it and I really think it provides something you have never seen before or never used before. So let's jump right in and take a closer look at how actions work now. So if we select an actor, we can of course go to the when touched. And here is a panel where all the actions go. So let's add one. Let's select this character as a subject and we let him say something. So as you see here, this is the first action. And if you click on the action, it opens up. We have a subject, we have an action and what to say. So you can basically adapt any value here so we can let it say hello and then the subject we can change it to any character that can talk and then we can also change the action here to give choices for etc we can also go back and change the subject so this is more or less what you could already do with the previous screenplays so let's look at another example let's add an action here and this character gives choices for. We can ask a question here, we can close it down and now you can see we can add some in cases. So in case one, in case two. So that's also basically what you could do previously. And now let's take a look at something more complex or something that could be more complex. If we pick the hero and we say number of becomes, for example, and you can see here the hero number of, for example, becomes zero. So here you can adapt it to one. You could also say we change the becomes to increases width. So in the end, we have a subject, an action, and then the name of the number and how much to increase. But you see here, we have this magical wand here. Now, I must say this is only for premium users. So if you have premium, you can use this extra functionality. When you click on it, you can use a simple value like one or five, but you can also use a value that's coming from somewhere else. For example, we could say like uh, the number of apples, which doesn't make any sense, but let's do it anyway. We take this character and we say, uh, we use the max speed or the max distance for it or we can go to the hero and pick any number we want here for example the health value 
you can manipulate money so let's go here so now you can see how much to increase we increase it with the heroes infantry money and you can of course trickle down here because you can click on it go back let's select the hero again and let's select another number of so here you see we can increase the apples with the number of cherries so this is really how you can turn very simple actions into very complex things another thing we can do is use an if for example if the hero has a token so this is the old way of doing it if some hero has a token then we can add some actions here we also have the else we can change the subject in this case only heroes can have tokens we can change the action here lacks token the number of or is active or we can change it into something completely different and there is some other thing here which is a bit hidden but that's no problem because it's pretty advanced and that is if you click the if then you can extend it with an and or an or and let's pick the or here so now we have if the hero has a certain token or true you can set it to false but there is also this magical wand here and here we can add another condition so we pick the hero again you can use any action you want but let's take here another has token so here you have a condition now if the hero has token a and the, or the hero has another token b then these actions will be executed and this is really what you would also do with programming but of course this is way easier than that but you get the point that these things can be extended to very complex things let's try another example for example here we can do also number of is smaller than so here you see if the hero number of apples is smaller than zero and again you have here the magical one so here you can add another action again like let's take Adrian's max speed and you can see that if the hero number of apples is now smaller than the max speed and so on so as you can see you can keep extending it and start using really advanced functionality of course this is not for beginners but if you're already more experienced with using actions you can do some pretty cool things here one last thing that I forgot to mention that is if you add an action and you select a subject let's pick this one I extended actually the left side here so as you can see all the actions are grouped now with the behaviors if you click on a behavior you have some extra things like becomes active inactive is active and because they are grouped you can also close them and really start organizing this thing basically so this is the new functionality it's easier for beginners to jump into but it's also very powerful for more advanced users to do what they want to do like I said before, it took me a long time to develop this. And now that this is finished, expect new updates to come sooner and at a higher pace. So point your browser to rpgplayground.com and continue or start building your games.